Do you, Patel? No, no. Thank you. Right then, first things first. And this is more aimed at you, Patel, but anything involved in any one of you probably involves all of you. So, mm -hmm. here we go. Firearms. You asked me about three weeks ago if I knew who was behind the diner, right? Remember that? Um, what's that, sorry? <laughs> you asked me about three weeks ago if I knew who was behind the diner. Remember that? Before yeah, you yeah. went away? Yeah. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. You've not been around, and nor is the diner man. You tried contacting him? Yes. I mean, I help him, but... Are we going to play silly buggers? Or are you just going to be honest? It'd be like, you know, Clark Kent and Superman never seen in the same room, you know what I mean? I'm not fucking Superman. Continue, I want to hear what you want to say. Right. I'm going to drop some facts on you. Now you choose to do this information what you want. Mm. This war is going to present a unique opportunity for someone who's got the network to fucking do it and can push to fucking do it. I know that right now, at least one of the city's main sources of firearms is over on that island, willing to stomach a 30-year prison sentence to defend it. At least one. I also know that quite likely one of the city's other biggest purveyor of firearms is also quite likely risking, if not definitely or more than likely, going to also get a 30-year sentence. So if someone sat here right now, happened to have the means of manufacturing some in, it would be a pretty fucking good time to get out there in the market and seize a massive amount of market share because two of the biggest purveyors ain't going to be around to do it. Question. Who are the people you're on about? That are Julio, be... Julio of HOA is currently on the island defending it. Hmm. Okay. He's, he's a weapons man. I, I'm confused. Where does he come into this? Now, before he went away, he said he was considering who could be his replacement when he's gone. As far as I can make out, a replacement has not yet been found. And if it ain't been found now, I struggle to think how he's going to sort it out with him being on an island. Now, the other one is everyone's favourite arms dealer, Pigeon. Who's also up to a, a string of things, which I will give more context on in a minute, that are very likely going to end up with him getting 30 years as well. So is Pigeon going on an island too? He is going back and forth. Hmm. Now I can tell you more about how... Back, back and, and forth, forth doing what? Supply and shit. That bit I don't know. What I do know, and this bit, fuck me now, this bit can't go anywhere. He, at least over the weekend, his plan was to smuggle a McCann, huge amount McCann, of explosives the off of the island and bring it back over here for a bombing campaign of terror throughout the rest of the war. Has that message. happened yet? I don't know. Pigeon, I haven't spoke to him pigeon, since Friday. Now, Has he been around since or no? I, I've not been around. I don't know. I was I was up very briefly yesterday to have a chat with uh, the SK and Matt here. And then I and then I slunk back off to my fucking apartment to die in bed. Hey, hey, hey. But now this information can't go anywhere, boys. All right, I'm mm -hmm. telling you this because we've got a very strong working relationship and we've had a strong working relationship for a long time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so far, even though sometimes we've shouted at each other, we've all stayed mates <clears throat> professionally and personally. <clears throat> yes. Agreed. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I come with this information to you because of our relationship and I won't be going with this information to anyone else. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is if, if, my hunch oh, is correct. And you lads might have access to some in. If you wanted to get market share, if you want to grow your contacts in the city via that market share, now's the fucking time. And if you want someone who can lead on that, because he's an entrepreneurial little bastard who gets, a, who gets around selling shit, he stood in front of you. Listen, I'm kind of dumb. Can you say it straight up? If you make guns, I can sell them. Okay, I can thought sell so. A lot of them. I just wanted to clarify. Thank you. That's fine. It's fine, man. Don't worry. I use 
sometimes more flowery language than is needed. Also, I say it in a certain way so that if any chance we are getting recorded, I've never directly alluded to something. You get me? Mm. Mm. Do you think Pigeon might go back too? He might go back, but even if he doesn't, mate, if he does what he's told me he's planning on doing, he's going to get 30 years anyway because he's helping the island. Mm. Well, that and whatever he does with the explosives. Yeah. Well, on top of, yeah. Yeah. Hey, now, hey, hey. to give you some more context, and I'm going to assume that this bit is maybe not known to any of you. When Tommy T was last around, me and him had a very long conversation mm. about some future plans me and him could potentially share in this city and obviously those plans wouldn't just be me and him it would be me and my boys you and your but you and your boys mm -hmm. now some of this uh, tar you probably know about because i've mentioned it to you as well and sk you also mm -hmm. now obviously tommy t and you know, the greatest one in the world we know that how to predict him being around like we're trying to predict when next time a unicorn's going to be around hard to do mm -hmm. so trying to kind of make trying to make plans reliant on him being around is probably a fool's errand that being said, I still think some of those plans could probably be achieved with what we have access to right now. And those plans are? Building up a second corporation within the city with a scope of one day being the second biggest. Sorry to interrupt, even... but who the fuck is that on the roof over there? Bad? Pink building. Pink building. Oh yeah, who is that? Uh, oh yeah, I don't know. I can, I can. Someone hold a gun on them and I'll megaphone. Cool. <laughs> oh, not Firing squad. Person on the pink building. Who are you? You have guns pointing at your head. Identify yourself. He's walking like. It's one of my boys. It's one of my boys. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, yeah. you are clear. Oh, we tell him to come over. Come over! <laughs> now say go back. Let's say come closer, then go come back. Come over to the men's block. Come closer. Then go I'll back. Go back. <laughs> wait, wait, tell him I'm over here, otherwise he'll be wondering what the fuck's going on. Mr. Solomon is here waiting your arrival. Oh, wait, is it one of your boys? Yeah, it's yeah. Galloway, mate. It's one of my boys. Oh. Yeah. Galloway! Oh, I we know it is you, see. Mr. Galloway. Bigger in the distance. Bro, I was I sitting on the I fucking love... deck chair and I, I see out the corner of my eye shout. just some geezer in a suit. comes out more. We're <laughs> giggling over the megaphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, mate, if I had a giggle over a megaphone, I'd be more concerned. You know what I mean? It's like, now nah, that, that guy's mental. He's giggling. Uh, you... Uh, you mind just giving us a moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, boys have, you boys have a chat. I'll be back in a minute. I can't lie, boys. That was... I never thought about that part of the plan. Part of, the plan. of the restaurant when I when I disappear <laughs> that <laughs> someone putting two and two together you know but what? the thing that's why it's